Previously, on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To save the last bullet for himself. made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we gonna do? Marlin down, and then they fucking murdered him! 
Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. The little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. He didn't have to shoot Marlin in the fucking skull. It was over. We get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. We can forgive them. Murderers, even some monsters, they get a second chance. Some monsters, not all. When bad people, like murderers, try to make it right, that's when other people forgive them. That sounds hard. It is. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. Oh, fuck, are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So's everyone else. I think you're okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good, like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial will start it soon. See you out there. This is gonna be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. 
Let's try to make things right. And what better way to get things started than a good old cup of joe? I knew I'd ruin the mood as soon as I opened my big stupid mouth. When you're ready, go to the funeral. You see, maybe it's a good thing that I stay silent during the beginnings because when I talk, it all goes downhill. But then again, when I don't talk in this game, or when I don't do anything in this game, whenever time just progresses, it all goes downhill. It was insane just how stinking happy I was during the entirety of this first episode. And then, of course, there was one secret hiding underneath it all. And as soon as we discovered it, it all went downhill. They look good together. Do you think his is better? No, I like them both. Thank you for not making me decide on that answer. But yeah, it's definitely better. <laughs> AJ noticed you looked at Ten's drawing first. No, thankfully it doesn't do that. They're just collectibles. And I did not get all of them, unfortunately, but whatever. This isn't a 100% playthrough. This is just a first experience. As you all know, I don't need to be telling you this. For four seasons in, you know how it goes. Ready? AJ is shaped by what you teach him. I'm sort of worried, like, with the things that I taught him, the fact that he's just so quick to do things without, like, consulting me first. I'm kind of afraid with some of the things I have already told him. It's making me a bit concerned that I'm gonna regret it very, very soon, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, God. Hold on, I want to run. Yes, we... Oh, wait, actually... I didn't remember that. I thought it was R2. Well, I would have figured it out eventually. But I should probably talk to everyone beforehand, or maybe they're all in the funeral, so there isn't anyone to talk to. Here's uh, AJ, but can't really talk to him. I did that. Come on. At this point in time, like, however many years we're into the apocalypse, like, ten or something, I 100% doubt that every single person on the planet hasn't already become a murderer in some way, shape, or form. We all have to have stories like that, right? That we regret, like, the mistakes we've made, and I seriously think it's impossible that someone out there hasn't murdered hasn't, like, messed up royally. It doesn't make it any less horrible, doesn't make it excusable just because everyone's done it, but maybe it'll be easier to understand and forgive if we all relate in that sort of way. I don't know, it's still, like, a horrible thing. I felt really good about being able to talk him down and then... He just did that. Was that because of what I taught him? Did I mess everything up? I don't stinkin' know. Doesn't seem like there's anything here for us, so... Let's just attend the funeral. And try to make good. Oh my god, I'm... I'm very heartbroken that- Oh no, not the doggy! Oh. Oh, come on, game! You can't do this to me! Oh, yep, God. hi, guys. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? Why do people have funerals? Tim said they used to have them when they died. But I don't get it. Well, to say goodbye to someone you've lost. But they're dead. This is your last chance to see them before they're gone forever. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters? <laughs> Even monsters. 
pen. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Thank God. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. They just killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. Oh, Lewis, we were such good buddies before. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. No, that's not entirely what I meant to say. What I'm sorry. Marlin? Who's responsible for that? AJ? Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? I don't know saying? whose side I want to be I'm on or whose side I can go. be on at this point. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. I wonder if Lewis would be on our side 100% if we... Oh, come on! Are you serious? God stinking darn it. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. This isn't fair. I wanted a doggy to be happy. You can't give me a dog in a game make me miserable. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I wonder if Lewis would have been on our side right now and Violet would be against us if we didn't ask for her help during that fight. But it's time to decide the fate of Clementine and AJ. Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of The Walking Dead. In the last episode, we began the final season of Clementine's Journey. It was a lot more different than I thought it was going to be. I actually felt hopeful, despite how much time had passed and all that we've lost, all that we've been through. I felt hopeful for the future and I was very happy with the place that we had found. We had reunited with AJ after being separated in the previous season, and we found a community of good-hearted and what seemed to be genuine people. But of course, I forgot for a moment what world we were in, and the dirt turns up eventually, and what we find underneath may not be what we want, but it's what we're dealt with and what we have to work through. Um, is that AJ? Why are you all cranky? Everyone else should be super cranky. Oh, Clem, you don't deserve any of this. AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No! 
It didn't work. I did what you said, and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't want to let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on. I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Okay. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh... I think I'm sad, too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? We don't know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't know. They seem pretty mad. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to go. <sighs> I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. Hi! Lewis, buddy? We took the vote. You have to leave. Oh, wow. We aren't even going to say in the matter. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. <laughs> That's not how it works, kid. I'm That's sorry. That's not how it works. Oh, could I have changed this somehow? Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not gonna fight it at all? And have That's everyone fear us? You've already decided. Yes, we have. Oh, come on. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ is in dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. We could have happily dumped you outside the gates. Thanks for making sure that we... <laughs> no, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. 
We already know he knows how to use it. Give it to him. Here, you can have it. Fuck. There. Happy? Can we go? <laughs> I don't know, it's just that I feel like I should have tried to get Lewis on my side during that fight because part of me feels like Violet would have been with us no matter what. But Lewis, it would have been like a fight to get him on our side, and that was my chance to get him with me. And I lost it, so now I can never get him back. And that stinks, because I really stink and liked him. He was my favorite character, even though he was like kind of crazy, but he was my favorite character in the first episode, and now everything's gone downhill. His best friend's gone. Like, we found out he was a murderer, and then we murdered him. And I don't know what to do now.